Medusa. Her name alone conjures images of stone-cold terror, her gaze capable of turning the bravest warriors into lifeless statues. But what if I were to tell you that this story you might have heard is actually not the whole truth? What if I told you that Medusa has always been portrayed as bad, but actually used to be a beautiful soul? Let's go back in time to explain this. Long ago, in the ancient world of Greek mythology, there lived a young woman named Medusa. Her beauty was unmatched, and she possessed a cascade of long, flowing hair that seemed to appear to sway in the wind, captivating all who laid eyes upon her. Medusa had a significant role as a devoted priestess in the temple of the powerful goddess Athena, which resided atop the majestic Mount Olympus. Athena, the goddess of wisdom, war and craftsmanship, was greatly respected and looked up to by both mortals and immortals. However, even the wise and powerful Athena couldn't escape the feelings of jealousy. When rumors reached her ears that some people in her temple were praising Medusa's radiant beauty more than Athena's own, a seed of envy was planted in the goddess's heart. Athena's inner turmoil grew, and she struggled to maintain her composure. As the patron deity of the city of Athens, she understood that she mustn't let her emotions cloud her divine judgment. But deep inside, the jealousy gnawed at her, threatening to consume her rationality. Seizing this opportunity, Poseidon, the god of the sea and Athena's eternal rival, hatched a malicious plan to exploit her vulnerability. The rivalry between Poseidon and Athena over the right to be the city's patron god had been long-standing. Seeing Athena's unease, Poseidon saw a chance to tarnish her reputation and claim dominance over Athens. One fateful day, as Medusa was dutifully tending to her responsibilities in the temple, Poseidon decided to put his vengeful plan into action. He appeared before her in all his divine glory, using his enchanting charm to seduce the young priestess. However, Medusa, committed to her duties and vows, resisted the sea god's advances, much to his fury. Enraged by Medusa's rejection, Poseidon's jealousy matched Athena's. He seized Medusa by the arm, determined to take what he felt rightfully belonged to him. But Medusa, though physically overpowered, found an unexpected source of strength within her. She fought back with all her might, delivering a fierce blow to Poseidon's face and freeing herself from his grasp. Medusa ran, her heart pounding, seeking sanctuary in the depths of the temple. But Poseidon was relentless in his pursuit, blinded by his lust and anger. He followed her every step, his footsteps echoing through the marble halls as Medusa cried out for protection. In her moment of desperation, she knelt before the statue of Athena, praying for deliverance from the wrath of Poseidon. As the god of the sea approached, Medusa's plea grew louder, tears streaming down her face. But Poseidon, consumed by his desires, cared not for her prayers or her pleas. In a moment of sheer malevolence, he violated the sanctity of Athena's temple and forced himself upon Medusa, an act of vile cruelty that defiled the sacred space. Athena, ever watchful over her temple, felt a sudden surge of sorrow and anger. From her ethereal abode on Mount Olympus, she witnessed the heinous act committed by Poseidon. Her heart ached for her loyal priestess, and she felt a deep sense of regret for not intervening sooner. As Poseidon departed, leaving behind the devastated Medusa, Athena descended from her heavenly realm, her eyes filled with tears. She took the form of her own statue and confronted Medusa, her voice trembling with sadness and anger. Athena told Medusa that a true loyal priestess must embody purity and virtue, and that Medusa's presence, though enchanting, has diverted many men from the path of righteousness and filled them with lust. She partially blamed Medusa's beauty for Poseidon's horrible actions. Athena's words pierced Medusa's heart like a dagger. She realized the consequences of her beauty and the consequences of Poseidon's malicious actions. But Athena also recognized that Medusa had not asked for any of this, that she had been the victim of a cruel twist of fate. Feeling a bit remorseful for her previous actions, Athena decided to punish Medusa, but in a way that would preserve her essence and acknowledge her devotion. 
she turned Medusa into a gorgon, a fearsome creature with snakes for hair and a gaze that could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. This transformation served as a way to defend Medusa from further harm and as a warning to others of the dangers of unchecked lust and rage. Medusa, now burdened with her new form, fled to a remote and desolate region where she found an ancient temple in ruins. There, in her solitude, lone, she devoted herself to the crumbling temple, discovering comfort in reviving its neglected presence. In the meantime, on Mount Olympus, Athena reflected upon her actions and realized the depth of her mistake. She wished she could undo the harm she had caused and give Medusa the life she deserved. Despite her divine nature, Athena could not reverse the Gorgon's curse, for even the gods were bound by the consequences of Poseidon's actions. Many brave warriors and adventurers sought to capture the infamous Medusa, but none succeeded. They either turned to stone or returned defeated, leaving Medusa in her isolation. One day, a courageous young warrior named Perseus walked into Medusa's domain, unaware of the legend surrounding the cursed Gorgon. Armed with Athena's reflective shield and the guidance of the gods, Perseus faced the quest of slaying the fearsome Medusa. As Perseus approached the temple, his heart pounded with fear and determination. He braced himself for the encounter, tightly holding the shiny shield that mirrored the world around him. Perseus managed to glimpse Medusa's terrifying gauge by looking into the reflective shield he had brought along, skillfully evading her paralyzing stare. In a swift and calculated strike, Perseus beheaded the Medusa, freeing the world from her curse and ending her centuries of solitude. As the Gorgon's head fell to the ground, a wondrous and unexpected transformation occurred. From the blood of Medusa emerged two magnificent creatures, Chrysar, a golden warrior with a dazzling sword, and Pegasus, a majestic winged horse of purest white. These creatures embodied the essence of their mother, Medusa's original form, a testament to the nobility and strength she had carried within her. When Athena received Medusa's head and heard of Perseus's bravery, she felt a mixture of relief and sorrow. Her heart was heavy with regret for the punishment she had wished upon her loyal priestess. In an act of redemption, Athena immortalized Medusa's head on her shield, a tribute to the beauty and loyalty that once resided in her temple. From that day forward, Athena's shield bore the image of Medusa, a symbol of her past mistakes and a constant reminder of the values she had once held dear. Medusa's story, the loyal priestess whose destiny was caught in the gods' mistakes, lived on as a lesson for all future generations. If you've been touched by Medusa's story, and if you've come to see her in a new light, consider leaving a like and subscribing to our channel to see future Greek mythology stories explained. Until next time, fellow explorers.